everyone, Baruch here in New York, catching up backstage at the Halo Awards with Mr. Nick Cannon. What's going on, man? How, How you doing, doing, sir? I'm well, I'm well, can't complain. You're sharply dressed. As are you. Here is $10,000 each. It's amazing to think that you've been working with Nickelodeon for almost half your life. That is crazy, I never right? thought about it. 17 like years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How have you managed to stay so plugged into youth culture for all these years? Uh, well, I mean, you kind of hit it on the head. I've been doing it for half my life, and then starting at a young age and kind of, you know, progressing and, and growing into a businessman. And it, it's almost like diversifying in a sense to where, yeah, I can have fun in front of the camera, but also understanding how the process is made and, and everything that goes into creating content. Well, congratulations on the sixth annual Halo Awards. Thank you, man. This is pretty cool. What makes the Halo Awards a fresh take on the traditional award ceremony? Uh, I always say it's not your mom and dad's award show. I mean, we take that idea of celebrities kissing each other's butts and throw it out the window. I mean, you want to take that spotlight and shine it on the thing that really matters. And that's uh, young people making the world a better place. You have so many different projects going on right now. What's the common thread between everything? Oh, the common thread, man. All that fun, more than anything. It's a good common yeah. thread. Fun is always uh, uh, my common thread. I mean, I don't do anything unless I'm enjoying it. And then ultimately, it's about empowerment, you know, giving back. All of those things are, are always come into play when I'm creating something. What if you had to choose one job title? What would it be? Just one title? <laughs> Entrepreneur. I've created. Love it. It's a nice little, nice yeah, little hybrid yeah, going yeah, on there. Exactly. Now, NBC just announced that you'll be hosting the new Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Yeah, hosting and producing as well. There we go. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How are you going to put your own twist on the classic show? I was a child when the uh, first show came out, and I, obviously, you know. Robin Leach was amazing, and to see him kind of do his thing, but I'm definitely trying to give it a younger, fresher, more vibrant appeal. Of course, America's Got Talent, another show that you're hosting. Yeah. So popular here in the U.S. Why do you think it resonates so deeply with the audience? Uh, the reason why AGT resonates with the audience is because it's a family show, and it's watching everyday Americans strive uh, for their goals and their dreams, and, uh, I, and again, the common denominator is fun at the end of the day. On top of all your projects, all your shows, you're also working with new artists, new yeah. personalities like Amber Rose right, to get right. their big breaks. Yeah. What was your big break? My big break? Oh man, I said, I don't even know if I got my big break yet. Uh, oh, is that right? Some people would say, you know, Working at Nickelodeon as a teenager was, was my big break. Some people would say, you know, starring in my first feature film, like Drumline. Some people say getting my record deal, all of those things. So, you know, I feel like it's, it's definitely a journey. Uh, you know, as cliche as it sounds, success is a journey. It's not a destination. This is something that's constant, and, you know, I feel blessed for each and every opportunity that I get. What is left for you to conquer, Nick Cannon? Uh, the presidency, 2016. <laughs> Nick Cannon for president, you heard it here. Yeah.